Some of them have gone to to East and else. Best treat on the early. If inside here the elliptical bracket this is a statement whether well, true or false the districts whether x is equal to y and else means if this is false then we move on to the next statement here in else and because I'm lazy Well, we know that the 3 doesn't make 5, so obviously this is not equal. Uh, we can nest, no, we can put the else if statement. if so if something like this if whatever in here is true to this else if whatever in this is true to these whatever is in the early brackets is for if none of these happen to be true then else will be fine and as expected x is 3 now of course this is on we don't have to have the else if and else we only need an if but we can have else if or else by the self we need an if to go on See if this is false and there's no else, then nothing happens. <coughs> now we have some more compact if else. If you're trying to check for the different values of one variable, say if x is 1 or x is 2 or x is 3, instead of using if else, we switch. Switch and the variable to use. Case keyword here and default for what to do if it's none of them. So the default here is like else, and also the default is using other in interfaces, but that, that's something more advanced. I just 
structure. Neither of course. Should be true for the loop to run. 
So this will be the same as when you put here, you would put here, and I++ plus plus is. Or well, other statement after that is how it should change variables. And not, you don't have to put I++ plus plus here, let's say X++. Plus plus. But uh, then, we'll just keep getting zeros because we're changing X and not I. And this I is, can only be used in, inside the for loop. So if I try to do I++, plus plus, it will tell me that this is wrong. So the loop terminates. You go x becomes three after that because three is not less than three, so the loop terminates. So that and i starts at zero, so it's three. Next time the loop runs, x is four, and i is one, and then i is two, and x is five. And that's about loops. But we can choose to break loops. So instead of let's make this number bigger. Which goes to nine. If i plus x to be it can't be bigger than say twelve, greater than or equal to twelve. Actually, just greater than twelve is okay. If I break, and this will break the loop. As you can see here, the loop was broken, and you can use break statements in these to break loops as well as switch statements. There are some other statements such as try and catch and do while loops, but uh, we'll leave them for later. It's all for now.